everybody, and welcome to the EFT uh, introduction. I'm Mike Wallen with the Serenity House of Flint, and glad that you have chosen to attend uh, this workshop in learning emotional freedom technique. Um, I think you're going to uh, really enjoy this. It's an incredible modality um, that incorporates energy medicine um, and uh, you know, kind of psychological um, and self-affirmation, and it's really, really powerful. So I'm glad that you've uh, chosen to attend. A little bit about EFT, like I said, it's uh, um, based on uh, acu uh, acupuncture, which goes back thousands of years. Um, <clears throat> acupuncture where we put needles in the, in the body into what we call the meridian system. And meridians are kind of like blood vessels, except that they carry the energy through our body, uh, basically to the major organs, uh, the stomach, the liver, the kidneys, the in small intestine, uh, the lungs, things like that. So those organs get their energy through the meridian system. And so what we're going to do is we're going to access that meridian system by just simply tapping on it. Um, and then at the same time, we are going to acknowledge a, uh, an issue that we may be having while giving ourselves some affirmation. And what this will do is it will help to bring the body back into regulation uh, and back into balance. So an example would be, you know, we're driving our car, somebody cuts us off, we get really angry. So... As we feel that anger, um, typically if we're not able to feel it all the way through the body, then that energy will get stuck in the body. And, you know, we live kind of in a society where, you know, emotions are not typically well accepted. Um, we've all formed our own um, kind of judgments on emotions. Uh, we've been taught um, some emotions are acceptable, some are not and how and if we can express them. Um, we also live in a society where that is based on distraction. Um, sports, marketing, um, social media, we, we have a thousand different ways to distract ourselves from our emotions. And so what EFT does is it, it helps us to begin to develop a relationship between the mind and the body. Um, you know, and, and really to, to heal that relationship and to understand that the mind really impacts the body in, in uh, some very real ways. The uh, studies that have been done, and EFT has had more than 100 clinical studies done. They've been published in over 60 uh, peer-reviewed journals. Um, and it shows that by changing our negative thoughts, we can release negative emotions. So it's saying that all of, all of our issues in, within the body are caused by negative emotions or emotions that have gotten stuck because we haven't been able to feel them. And so through tapping on our meridian system and you know saying our uh, setup statement, we can begin to release these emotions, bring the body back into balance, and when the body's back into balance, it'll naturally heal itself. So, kind of how does this work? As we tap, the uh, parts of the brain that are impacted by this tapping, uh, the first one is the amygdala. Uh, the amygdala is the part of the brain that tells us if we're safe or not. And it's not a part of the brain that we can access with our uh, kind of frontal cortex. So it kind of works on its own. <clears throat> and... The tapping sequences that we do um, have been shown to reduce the uh, activity of the amygdala, which basically tells the body to secrete cortisol. Um, so we find that through these tapping exercises, we can reduce the cortisol in our system, sometimes up to 80%, um, just in a couple of rounds of tapping. Uh, the other part of the brain that it is impacted is called the uh, hippocampus. Uh, the hippocampus is the part of the brain that uh, 
take snapshots of everything that happens into our life or happens in our life and then attaches emotion to it. So if we've had some traumatic things that have happened, um, those emotions um, stay connected to that memory. So it becomes like our filter. So everything that we experience in the course of a day, it comes in, it goes through our filter, it goes through all of these snapshots. And if something matches a traumatic uh, experience from our past, it will trigger the amygdala to get ready to fight or flight. So EFT can break um, that uh, connection, the connection between the emotions and the memory, um, which will allow us now to experience the things today, being present in the moment in a way that we're not reliving the past or creating those sensations in the body. So, <clears throat> that's a lot. Um, I really encourage you um, to, you know, research more, look up more um, on EFT. It's, uh, like I said, being used in a lot of different places. It was in Haiti uh, during the, the earthquake. There's teams that, have, that were in uh, New Orleans for Katrina. Um, in Mississippi during Katrina, um, some of the school shootings, teams of EFT uh, practitioners have went in to donate their time um, in a humanitarian way. So, um, so EFT got started uh, primarily um, as a tool for uh, veterans uh, back in the mid '90s, returning from Afghanistan in the in the Gulf War. Um, Primarily, these veterans were suffering from PTSD. And we found that through these studies, that after only six sessions um, of EFT, that about 80% of these veterans no longer clinically um, were diagnosed with um, PTSD. So that suggests, you know, as a powerful tool, um, EFT works quickly, um, and again, it can be used on anything. So, so let's get into how it works. So, slide one. Um, basically, what we want to do is, is you know, kind of what's going on today. So, <clears throat> I may be feeling fear about the COVID um, pandemic that we're going maybe feeling some fear or anxiety that uh, I'm going to get it. And of course, I don't want to get it. So I would simply write down, um, you know, what this this is um, in my setup. I and mean, I'm going to create a setup statement. So I'm afraid of getting COVID. And then I'm going to ask myself kind of where do I feel that in my body? And this is where we begin to develop the relationship with our bodies. So for me, um, I feel it here in kind of in my solar plex. So I'm going to write down that I'm, I'm feeling afraid of getting COVID. I feel it in my solar plex. And then I want to give it an, an intensity level between zero and 10. Zero being there's no intensity at all. And 10 being that it's extremely intense. So, you know, I can give that um, a number. So I'm going to say that right now I'm experiencing um, this fear as a eight. So now that I've identified kind of what I'm feeling, where in the body I'm feeling it, and I've given it an intensity level, I'm going to create a setup statement. So slide two, we go into our setup statement, which would primarily is gonna go like this. Even though I'm afraid of getting COVID, I love myself and accept myself wholly and completely. Even though I'm afraid of getting COVID, I love and accept myself completely. As we do EFT, it's very important 
that we use our own words. So right now the kind of the goal of this video is just strictly to teach EFT and where the tapping points are and how it works. And then we'll get into more of the application process um, in the coming weeks. So really today we'll use my um, setup statement and if you want to come um, tap along with me, um, we'll, we'll go to uh, slide three. So, sli so slide three, so we show here, this is called the side of the hand, and this is a meridian point that uh, kind of affects uh, psychological reversals, psychological reversals where we get stuck. Um, so basically we'll, we'll tap on it and you can do either, either side. And then we're going to say our setup statement three times. Even though I'm afraid of getting COVID, I love and accept myself completely. Even though I'm afraid of getting COVID, I love myself wholly and completely. Even though I love myself, even though I'm afraid of getting COVID, I love and accept myself completely. So, so that's the setup statement. Now we're going to move from the setup statement and then in the next slide, we're gonna show us here where the tapping points are. So we start out tapping on the top of the head just five to seven times. And then the next spot is the, the eyebrows, the beginning of the eyebrows. And again, either side, you can do left hand, right hand. The next spot is the side of the eye, then under the eye, then under the nose, then the chin indent right here. And then here we have our collarbone. There's the two, uh, points of our collarbone, so you can tap on either one of those. And then uh, under the arm. And if you want to know exactly, you can just take your hand, kind of put it where your arm folds, and it's right where your pinky's at. So about four fingers under, under the arm. And this is what we call the basic recipe number one. Those are the points in uh, our recipe number one. Moving on to the next slide, we show uh, recipe number two, which are those points are on the hand. And so if I point my hand, so I have my palm facing me, and you can, again, you can do it with either hand. I wanna tap my thumb closest to my chest, my index finger, again, closest to my chest, my middle finger, and again, closest to my chest, and then the pinky finger, and again, closest to the chest. So we use four of the fingers. The ring finger is not included. Uh, there's not a meridian on the ring finger. So that is basic recipe number two, and then Recipe number three is what we call the nine point gamut. And if you go between your pinky knuckle and your ring finger knuckle and you just come back a little bit, you'll find a soft spot there. And that is called the gamut point. And this point connects to the triple warmer um, meridian, which is the meridian that runs right kind of through the middle of us and a lot of the other meridians connect to it. So it's a, this is a really powerful meridian. And we're going to then do the nine point gambit procedure. And what, how this goes as we look at the slide. So I'm gonna look straight ahead and then I'm gonna close my eyes and then open them. And then I'm gonna look down hard right and then back to center look down hard left, back to center. I'm going to roll my eyes in a full circle counterclockwise, and then I'm gonna roll them back in a full circle 
clockwise, making sure to hit the ceiling and the floor. And then I'm going to hum a song for two seconds real quick. I always choose the happy birthday song, so... <laughs> then I'm going to count to five real fast. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to hum again. <laughs> And then, that is the three recipes. Now, to complete a round of tapping, I'm going to go back and do recipes one and two again. So I'm going to tap on my head, the eyes, under the nose, the chin, the under the arm, and then, again, each one of the, the, the fingers. And then that's a round. So at this point, then, what I want to do is I want to re-look at how I'm feeling and where I'm feeling it at my, in my body, and I want to re-evaluate the intensity. So I was feeling this fear before at about an 8, so I would re-evaluate where I'm at now. Maybe it's, maybe it's a 4, maybe it's a 3. Um, in some cases, a lot of these emotional, um, the intensity of these emotions will, will go down to a 0 and we'll have complete relief after just a round or two. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna take you through a whole round um, so that you can practice. Um, and you, again, you know, you can pick simple things, um, you know, getting upset um, at work or maybe your boss did something, you know, something happens while you're driving. Um, you know, the feelings around COVID or, you know, you forgot your mask and you got to go back out to the car to get it. But we can begin to practice it. And so I want to take you through a full round here. So again, we're going to start with the tapping on the uh, side of the hand. Even though I'm afraid of getting COVID, I love myself wholly and completely. Even though I'm afraid of getting COVID, I love and accept myself wholly and completely. Even though I'm afraid of getting COVID, I love myself wholly and completely. I'm afraid. 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 And I'm going to close my eyes open, down hard right, back to center, down hard left, back to center. Big circle the other way. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and then we're going to come back here. I'm afraid. 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 And I'm going to take a deep breath. And I'm just going to sit here and kind of feel how's my solar plexus feeling now? Where's the fear at? Has it subsided? I feel a lot better. I feel more relaxed and calm. My fear of COVID right now is at a two. So again, I really encourage you to kind of go back through this video um, and practice the tapping. Um, you can also find things on YouTube and online that uh, you can tap along with. But really for the next week, um, 
practice, practice, practice um, the tapping. And because when we meet next time, we're going to actually get into uh, some um, actual issues that you're having. And I'm going to help you to uh, begin to resolve some of the stuff so that you can bring balance back into your life and feel better. It'll improve your relationships, your ability to sleep. It'll reduce your anxiety. Um, and some of those uh, behaviors that we wish that we didn't probably do as much. So, again, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm Mike Wallen with the Serenity House of Flint. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you.